Today I have a super quick and easy build for you guys and that's gonna be a sacrificial fence for your table saw. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make it two different ways because it's good to have options. Now a sacrificial fence is simply an addition to your regular fence on a table saw. It enables you to get really close or even over the blade without cutting into the stock fence on the table saw. I wanna take about a saw blade's width worth of material off all four sides of this picture frame just to clean up the edges a bit. Man, in a situation like this where I just wanna nibble a small amount off each side, this is the perfect solution. The first way makes use of these dovetail clamps from Microjig. They ride inside a simple half inch dovetail groove and are perfect for quick and easy shop accessories like this. All I'm gonna do here is rip a piece of three quarter MDF at at least as high and as long as my factory fence then I'll take it over to the router table and I'll run a couple of dovetail grooves, three eighths of an inch deep and about a quarter of the way down from each end. Literally, that's all there is to it. I put a folded piece of paper on the table next to the fence just to elevate the MDF. I place the MDF against the fence on that paper with the dovetails facing away from the blade and then I'll secure it to the fence with the dovetail clamps. Then I can lower the blade and move the fence over until the leading edge of the MDF is just barely covering the blade. Then I can turn the saw on and raise the blade slowly, just high enough to be able to run my three quarter inch frame through, and I'll run all four sides of the frame through the blade. This can be way quicker and more precise than measuring and marking the frame itself and then adjusting the fence for each cut. Sacrificial fences are great to use with dado stacks for rabbits as well. And if you get creative, you can even make them taller or thicker for cutting tenons and the like, but they do get chewed up over time and they need to be replaced. Now these clamps do cost like $45 for the pair. That's why it's a little more expensive of an option. But like I say, you can use them almost anywhere in the shop like I did for my tapering jig and for the front of my assembly table. And they are simply a one-time investment. That being said, with a little more time, material and work, we can still make a sacrificial fence and just use regular F-style clamps. For this, we'll need two identical pieces of MDF cut to the same dimensions that we did before and a handful of hardwood spacer blocks about an inch and a half wide and as tall as the MDF is wide. Then we can sandwich the spacers between the two pieces of MDF and fasten them together by pre-drilling and countersinking screws. The spacing isn't super critical here, but you don't want to put them directly where the blade will be so that you don't hit the screws with the blade. Glue isn't necessary here either and can actually be a hindrance because like I said before, you're gonna have to replace the MDF from time to time and you wanna be able to quickly take it apart when necessary. Once it's built, you can use it the exact same way by using regular F-style clamps instead to hold the sacrificial fence in place. 